things caught on camera. Opening a doorway. Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claim that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. The agent says that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013, leaving behind all of their personal belongings in the house. The current owner is desperate to sell. He believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with it. He absolutely refuses to go inside the home or even get close to it. And all of these strange stories about the haunted house have kept buyers away as well. Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. But he doesn't explain why. で、Heeding the creepy warning, Tomo and Hiro respect the owner's request and close each door behind them whenever they step inside a new room. The two investigators immediately get the sense that something about the house is just a bit off. あけたら閉じるようにっていう Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. They don't think much of it and just continue their investigation. But did you see it? Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. But watch again. Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes as two bare feet can be seen underneath. But the investigators just don't notice. Soon the two explorers begin to hear a strange ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's quote, altar room. A room that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant to honor the dead. They go to investigate, and things take a terrifying turn. Shoot, shoot. Shoot. Okay. Fuck you. 
出る時さ閉めたよいや閉めてないでしょいやいや閉めた閉めた閉めた閉めたいや,開けいや開けい閉めてる閉めてる閉めてるちょっと一回閉めよう閉めよう閉めよう I ask again, did you see it? Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be seen once again, but this time much closer. What makes the footage even creepier is that only moments earlier, in the same spot, there was nothing there. Whatever is in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. And then when they turn their back, The sliding door seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in the hopes of capturing any paranormal activity. He sets up a static camera and then just sits in the dark and waits. After 30 minutes, nothing has happened. So Hiro gets a bit bored and decides to go check out another room. And this is when things get truly bizarre. え何だヒロは、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここに、ここそれでヒロとトモを撮影するパラノーマルな家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族の家族In the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. They approach a long abandoned house that Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 says has always seemed a bit creepy and has been sitting deserted for many years for unknown reasons. 
On a whim, he takes out a battery-operated spotlight and decides to shine it right into the windows of the abandoned house. The guys spot something downright chilling. There it is. Go, 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 go. On camera, the friends catch a pale, creepy face that seems to appear from nowhere, peeking back at them from the darkness inside the house. Even when hit by the bright spotlight, the white face appears to have no recognizable features. When they realize what they are looking at, the guys hit the gas and speed away from the abandoned house. Reddit user LividExcuse1640 says that he's visited the house before and it appears that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. So what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal? Is it just a strange trick of the light? Or is there something in there? Let me know down below. Scary people, places, and things. Now this next video was sent in to me privately by a Nukes Top 5 viewer but the source is unknown. All I know about the video is that a couple is out hiking through the Romanian woods when they spot something terrifying in the distance. One of the hikers pulls out a phone and starts to record. Still fucking still. Ooh, In the video, the two anonymous Romanian hikers wonder aloud whether, quote, they released it. I can only assume that they're referring to the strange pale figure in the video that looks like something right out of a nightmare. But I'm honestly not sure just what this is. Could it be something paranormal, a creature, or just a very bizarre looking person clad all in white? I leave it up to you to decide. One bizarre day in Voronezh, Russia, a grandfather and his grandchild are enjoying a day out walking in the fresh air. They decide to stroll down one particular city sidewalk, and it turns out to be one of the worst decisions of their lives. Now, in accordance with YouTube guidelines, let me point out beforehand that absolutely no one was hurt in this video, but it was very close. Grandfather and his grandson escape an incredibly tragic fate by only a split second as a large chunk of concrete comes hurtling down from a building above. The two are unharmed and so is the woman passing by. But what really makes this footage so terrifying is the fact that this was an intentional act. Turns out a group of inebriated Russian teenagers found their way onto the roof of a tall apartment building. They then deliberately threw this large block of concrete off the roof with the intention to hurt someone terribly. Later in the footage, these same teens can be seen admiring the shattered pieces of concrete. Despite the video evidence, these teenagers were never caught. This footage just goes to show that sometimes people are much, much scarier than anything paranormal.
Frank from the YouTube channel Franco TV goes on a very creepy exploration through an abandoned Grand Hotel in Montgomery, Alabama. Frank plans to perform a ghost hunt, but little does he know that the large building he is about to explore is now home to something much scarier than ghosts and apparitions. It turns out that a group of aggressive and dangerous homeless squatters have taken over the abandoned building. As Frank starts his ghost hunt, things soon take a very frightening turn. I gotta be careful. I totally just heard somebody. Wherever Frank goes, he keeps running into potentially dangerous squatters and just barely avoids confrontation. Even though he's somewhat aware of the danger, Frank still continues to explore. But he has no idea just how close the angry squatters are watching him. I'm literally looking for other locations here that I haven't recorded just yet. But because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do. Because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mugged, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings in one. I'm already getting sounds of people. Frank is distracted by unexplained sounds and is talking to his camera when he passes one of the hotel room windows. To his viewer's horror, a hooded man can be seen standing right at the window just staring at Frank as he goes by. At the time, Frank is completely unaware of the danger he's in, so he just keeps on filming and exploring, with no idea of what he just encountered right next to him. Now obviously, this is not one of Franco TV's usual paranormal videos. In fact, if anything, it might be even scarier. Watch this full crazy exploration over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Reaching out from beyond. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is exploring an allegedly haunted location in a small village on the outskirts of Xinyang, China. This time Xiao Long is investigating a sprawling farm where a large extended family used to live. Locals claim that years ago they would often hear screaming and shouting coming from the farm. They say that the head of the family, an elderly man, had a very bad temper and was often cruel to his family. One by one, his children and grandchildren moved away from him to the big city. His family never returned. Individually, the old man passed away all alone inside his farmhouse. Xiaolong is recording a live stream as he explores the farm grounds all alone. At first, he finds strange talismans on and above many of the farmhouse doors, suggesting that someone has been there to try to ward off evil spirits that might haunt the property. Hello, What's 
操你妈 ！A large wooden board suddenly drops from the ceiling and barely misses Xiao Long. Now this could just be a very strange coincidence caused by a loose board in a very decaying house. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. Two windows fly open and the exit door slams shut. A little freaked out, now Xiao Long runs outside to calm himself down. Eventually, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. He soon finds a room cluttered with old furniture, personal belongings, and boards from the caved-in ceiling. What happens next is downright chilling. Too chilly, you're old. It's too cold. 哎呦我操你妈！这里头真有点好东西，全是这老棍儿，看着吗？啊！我我是啊！啊！我是我是。A terrifying pale face can be seen watching Xiao Long from the other side of a window. When he checks it out and opens the window, he only finds a small clay pot right where the face appeared. But this was absolutely not just a simple optical illusion. You can see by comparing the pot and the face in the window. It's almost as if this strange face turned into a pot. Now that might make no sense, but this will not be the last time we see a creepy, unexplained clay pot. So stay tuned. Xiao Long explains that he now feels something very sinister in this place. A little later into the investigation, and he finds something very creepy. Again, we see a clay pot. Now I reached out to Xiao Long to ask him about these strange pots, especially this one sitting on top of a covered cellar door. He explained to me that in China, occasionally clay pots like these are used to store the ashes of the deceased. The red cloth underneath the pot is placed there to ward off evil spirits. But that doesn't stop our boy Xiao Long. You. 哎呦我操！我操！我操你妈！这是井。我操你妈呀！我他妈跟他妈的那啥是一样的呢？这底下还带个小布。哎，哎，哎，哎，我操你妈！他好像动了呢！哎，我去你妈的！
我操你妈！那啥玩意儿啊？啊！哎哎！哎！我我操你！操你妈的！操你妈！我操你妈的！After taking a well-deserved break in his car, Xiaolong heads back in alone one final time intending to destroy what he now believes to be a cursed clay pot. It did not go well. A pair of hands seem to reach right up out of the ground, searching for something. The horrifying event is caught on live stream by Xiao Long and his online viewers watch in terror. He finally makes a run for it and just gets out of there. So is the abandoned creepy farm haunted by the malicious spirit of the old man who was left behind by his family? Let me know what you think. You can watch this and many more creepy videos of Xiaolong's investigations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Disappearing Act. Paranormal investigator Alberto from the YouTube channel Alberto Del Arco travels to a long abandoned warehouse in Mexico. Locals claim to have no explanation or idea of what this location was used for or why it's abandoned. Many suspect that the structure was used for horrific illegal activities, such as hiding or disposing of the remains of the deceased. Some believe that this dark activity might have left the warehouse extremely haunted, and most people prefer to stay far away from the creepy site. Those who have dared to explore the creepy location claim to have witnessed shadows, heard ear-piercing screams, and some even say that they have fled from the sound of footsteps that seem to be following them, getting closer and closer. Together with his two cameramen, Alberto Del Arco goes to investigate the alleged taunting. It doesn't take long before the guys begin to hear strange sounds and witness some very frightening activity. ¿Qué fue, güey? Vi una de allá arriba, ¿no? Ahí hay varios. Ay, güey, me dolió todo. Me asusté. Pudiera haber gente, ¿eh? De pronto pudiera haber personas que se meten. Al parecer ya se han robado partes de este sitio. Se ve algunas zonas quemadas. A heavy gas can slams to the ground as if thrown from somewhere nearby. But that's not the only creepy thing that happens in this clip. Did you see it? Right above Alberto's head, a dark shape can be seen quickly peeking out. But when they go to check inside the room, there's no one there. Alberto and his team are completely unaware of what they've just captured. They continue their investigation of this strange warehouse, but as they explore inside, the cameraman captures something absolutely shocking. Esto me imagino que eran una especie de tinas o contenedores, ¿sabes? Y mira, ahí hay unos ductos. Pero, ¿qué tenían aquí? ¿De qué era esta fábrica? 
Lo curioso es que ya preguntamos con los vecinos y nadie sabe exactamente qué es lo que había en este lugar. La temperatura sigue bajando, 22.2 de 22.9. Sí, baja muy rápido, baja muy drástico. Atrás de ti. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Atrás de ti. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Hola. ¿Lo tienes con tu cámara? ¿Lo, lo tendrás con tu cámara? Hola. Pero, eso está muy alto, ¿no? Digo, como para brincarle. Lo veo algo alto. Por ahí hay escaleras, mira. Cuidado, Tony, ten cuidado, no te vas a caer. As the camera turns down a hallway, what looks like a pale, creepy figure can be seen quickly darting out of sight. When the team hurries over to investigate, they discover just how high the area is above the ground. For something to have been peeking around that corner, it would have had to be at least seven or eight feet tall. A little later into the investigation and the three friends witness something else that is truly bizarre. No entiendo. A ver, hay alguien ahí parado, ¿no? Allá, 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 allá. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? Allá, allá soy yo algo. A ver, allá. A ver, con cuidado. Con cuidado, con cuidado, con cuidado. Hay alguien allá. Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ok, yo no sé ni para dónde ir. Tú ve, tú ve para allá, Tony, yo creo. Y ten cuidado, Memo. ¿Ves algo, Tony? ¿Se salió? Güey, yo vi a alguien parado, güey. vi a alguien parado ahí. Sí. Hay algo cerca. Alberto y su team watch as someone seems to walk away from them. At first they believe this is simply a stranger who is also exploring the factory. But when they reach the area where they saw the dark figure of a man, Again, there's just no one there. Cut to a bit later, and one of Alberto's cameramen claims that he sees something move in the brush. No entiendo, pero pareciera que hay algo aquí. Digo, tal vez es que no sabemos qué fue esto, pero pudiera haber algún tipo de qué güey, qué 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 qué. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde? Aquí. Pues a ver, alumbra un poquito para allá. ¿Viste algo? Cuidado, puede, puede haber muchos animales. Things just get more and more absurdly bizarre as a hand seems to reach out from the darkness and grab what appears to be either a cloth or an old paper. So. Did the team capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mysterious warehouse? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter here, on Instagram there, and on TikTok right there. See you next week.